Moments ago, the deadline was reached for every, every Florida county to submit its machine recount results for the governor's and Senate races, with all but one county meeting that deadline. Palm Beach County, a bastion of Democratic voters, adding to the trove of bad news for the Democratic incumbent Senator Bill Nelson, who already needs a straight-up miracle to overcome the 12,000-vote lead for his opponent, Republican Rick Scott. No one in the history of modern recounts has come close to closing a gap like that. CNN's Ryan Nobles is in Florida getting the latest results. And Ryan, we're on day six of the Florida recount. Um, I understand this is the process, this is how the state law is, et cetera, but when, when is it gonna be over? <laughs> Well, my wife is hoping before Thanksgiving, Jake, uh, and it is supposed to be certified by the 20th of November. Uh, what could happen today, and we're still waiting for those official uh, uh, recount numbers to come in, is that they're going to take a second look at these numbers, and if any of these races are within a quarter of a percent, that will automatically trigger a hand recount of overvotes and undervotes, and we do expect that to happen in both the Senate race and the Agriculture Commissioner race. So uh, the initial look at the numbers from this machine recount number, and we don't have the official numbers in from the the Secretary of State yet, but looking at a county by county basis, it doesn't look like the machine recount really demonstrably changed very much from the results we saw on Saturday. Now there's of course a bevy of lawsuits being filed that are being hashed out in courts of law that could impact this overall. But Jake, if everything goes the way it's supposed to, we should have the final numbers by the 18th of November. The 18th of November, okay. And, and Democrats continue to say that they believe there are enough votes out there for Nelson to win, even though he trails by 12,000 votes. Have you seen any evidence at all that there are 12,000 votes out there somewhere uh, that will go net for Bill Nelson? Yeah, you know, Jake, I heard what uh, major or Minority Leader Chuck Schumer had to say yesterday about this uh, particular recount process. And if we could play that bite, let's play it, and then we'll talk about it after. Well, Bill Nelson is, is strong as could be. He believes, I believe, he's won a majority of the votes. And as long as they're counted, he will continue being senator from Florida. So uh, Chuck Schumer saying that he believes that he's won the majority of the votes. But to your point, Jake, there's simply no evidence of that. And we've gone through an exhaustive count of eight and a half million votes, and the margin is more than 12,000 votes. We're now going through a machine recount that doesn't look like the numbers are going to change all that much. The only way that you can make this argument is if there is some sort of dramatic problem with one of the machines in one of these counties and if Democrats are able to win almost all of these lawsuits that they have filed in federal court and within those lawsuits has revealed a whole bunch more votes for Bill Nelson. At this point, there's just no evidence that this uh, possibility exists. Uh, it would be a historic uh, overcoming uh, of a margin on Election Day if this were to change. And at this point, it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. All right. Well, this is the United States of America. People can have belief systems, whatever they want. Ryan Nobles, thank you so much. Appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, David, uh, I want to start with you. This looks like it's going to end with Republicans winning the Senate race and winning the governor's office. We don't know, it's not final yet, but it looks as though. Um, and yet there are Republicans uh, who continue uh, to cast aspersions about the process. I want you to take a listen uh, to Congressman Matt Gates giving an interview uh, on Breitbart Radio. <laughs> if the Democrats are able to learn now what techniques work and don't work, what transparency laws are going to be followed and which ones aren't, then it gives them a roadmap on how to steal the election from Donald Trump in 2020. I mean, what is that? What's going on? <laughs> so, so, so look, transparency is never a bad thing, right? Sure. I mean, transparency is a great thing. But as we, we talked about before, I, I think what you're saying, you know, in Broward County and other places, right, it is a, a, a complete breakdown in the system that should move pretty, pretty smoothly and pretty effectively. So by that system not running so smoothly, it enables folks to go on radio talk shows in other places and kind of cast aspersions on the whole system. If, it, you know, if there was transparency in Broward County, if it was complete openness there, you wouldn't have folks on the right kind of saying, look. I think, David, there's no question if we all look at Broward County, it's a little horrifying that 18 years later, we're still looking at this and the ballots are confusing and Democrats and Republicans can agree on that. However, this is specifically language that President Trump used back when he was running for president 
threatening that it, the election was going to be was rigged, questioning institutions. And you can see this person yeah, as a loyalist, this member right. of Congress as a loyalist, trying to see doubt already two years before the election about the but, outcome but of yeah, the presidential election. But you just election. said question institutions. We're just questioning Broward County. That's an institution. But, but I think, David, this they're, is, they're, they're my failing. point is this is much bigger than that. He's alleging a conspiracy. I mean, he's, 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 saying, he's, he's saying Democrats are doing this so they can steal Florida from Trump. And you can do both. You can criticize them for being incompetent and not say that the 2020 election is going to be rigged. You don't have to pick one or the other. You can be critical of the way that they're, or maybe they're doing both, or, or maybe both. Well, take a listen. Republicans <laughs> are not actually the only ones trashing the other party and sowing doubts about the integrity of the process. Yeah. Uh, take a, a look at uh, what it's being said about the Georgia governor's race, which is also not over yet. Uh, Democrat uh, Stacey Abrams still trails uh, Republican uh, Brian Kemp. Uh, the race has not been called. Take a listen to what some Democrats have said. If Stacey Abrams doesn't win in Georgia, they stole it. It's clear. It's clear. If she'd had a fair election, she already would have won. Is that <laughs> really any different from what uh, the Matt Gateses and Donald Trumps of the world are doing? The only difference is, is that there was uh, some, in terms of closing polling places, there was some shenanigans when it came to voter suppression in Georgia. Um, and it was documented fairly well even before the election. That said, at this point, no, it's not. A big flat, no, I think, a big flat. And no, but, oh, no, 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 but no, but no, but, but I just, I, so, so I think it, I, I think, yes, what they're doing right now, Sherrod Brown today, yes, that is. Sherrod Brown's it, running for president. But, Hillary Clinton's running for president. Oh, that's true. But I will say, I think the, the gold standard here is, look at Arizona. You saw outside forces trying to make that into, uh, trying to degrade the process, say it was stolen, yeah. and you had the Arizona officials saying, no, this is over, Cinema won, everybody shake hands, we good. Jen? Look, I think what Sherrod Brown went on to say is that gerrymandering and other issues and voter suppression, which are real issues in yes. Georgia, are contributing to this being unfair. He said it in a very ham-handed way. It is clear <laughs> he's running for president, given his New York Times interview today. Mm -hmm. And he's probably thinking in his mind, I need to be a fighter. And he just wants to blurt it out. So, But, but I no, wish make no mistake, same. I, no, right. no. I wish oh, he'd said on. in a different way, but he was raising issues that are real issues in places like Georgia, which is voter suppression. Yes. Gerrymandering is a real issue. He said it in a sloppy way, but I don't think it's the same thing. 